class. Once they're in the program, they take courses in the fall and in the spring full-time. It's a full-time program. I wanted to go for dental hygiene, and so I started researching the dental assisting, and it's kind of something that caught my eye. You know, it's working more chair side with the dentist, not solely by yourself. I chose working with children, pediatric, that's what I wanted to do. I first wanted to be a nurse, but when I got braces, I happened to be curious about all the instruments and stuff, so I decided to take the dental system program here. We did a lot of the book study in class. We went over all the chapters, and then when we were done with the chapters, we'd go right into the procedures. The clinicals, the chairs, you know, actually learning hands-on was my favorite. It makes you more connected with other students. It makes you comfortable to work as a team. During the summer, they spend about 300 hours or more out in a private dental office or at an IHS Indian Health Service clinic. I do x-rays, I do cleanings, like the Profi cup cleanings, and I do sterilization. Impressions mostly because it's messy <laughs> and it's funny seeing the patients have all the impression material all over their face. X-rays was pretty tough. X-rays was a tough subject for me in school. The panel takes a picture of the whole patient's jaw. It rotates around the head and they take a picture of the jaw and then we do the bite wings which they take pictures of the interproximal areas. This program is accredited by the Commission on Dental Accreditation. You can immediately upon graduation take your Danby, which is the Dental Assisting National Boards, to get your Danby certificate. If you go to a non-accredited program, you have to continue practicing in an office for 3,500 hours before you're allowed to take the Danby. I'm actually going to take my boards in October, and it's the Danby, it's the National Boards, and you can go anywhere with that. I like to help my people because there's not really Zuni assistants and they need interpreters for the elderly people and that's one of my goals. We have about an 80 to 90 percent higher rate after they graduate with their certificate. With my career and studies I can go anywhere.